Hi guys, I'm downtown Vancouver in one of these towers and I'm sitting on that couch here. You know that couch, I've done a live from here and I've been sitting here and the sofa was doing this and I felt the building shaking, guys. This is the first time that I have ever felt anything here in Vancouver since 2008. So I have to say I'm a little, I don't know, upset, uneasy. That is how I can describe it. I now have locked the dogs in a bathroom so that they can't get near these windows, near these windows here, because they go right down to the floor. I'll turn this around so that you can see. So there you see, they really go down to the bottom. So I guess what I will do is um, I'll check the earthquake trackers and then I let you know, guys, what's happening. Just wanted to let you know, I just released a video. Um, I'm actually just working on releasing it, just putting in the, um, the headline and the tags and then it'll be out about California. There have been three earthquakes in one day along the San Andreas Fault. So while I'm just working on an earthquake video, my sofa is shaking me up and down. It was really strange, I have to say that. I don't know what it is, but you know, I'm very high up in that tower, so it can't be something, I don't know, down on the street or someone slamming a door or something. It's really, really weird. So I'll keep you updated, guys. Bye-bye, stay safe. So what I did, I wanted them to be safe. I locked them in here because I didn't want them to be near those windows. So if the windows break, I don't want my babies to fall out of the windows. Yeah, you're right, Eddie. You stay in there. So guys, while I just wanted to send this video out, I found it on the USGS site and it was indeed an earthquake. And uh, it was um, a magnitude 3.7, and it was 21 kilometers west of Tsawasan in Canada. So this is quite close to the coast here. So that is, you can see it on the map. So that is not on the western side of Vancouver Island. So um, I don't really like that so it was an earthquake so now you know i just wanted to update you about that so and guys really i want to explain this that couch behind me that earthquake felt vertical it the, really the couch felt like it was doing this so it was not doing this so i didn't feel the building shake like this it was like this one thing like boom and it, that was really, sorry, I'm like, ah, I've never had that here. It was, I once had an earthquake on the farm and I, I that was like, um, like a fighter jet is breaking the sound barrier. It was making a really loud bang. And then you just felt the lights trembling, right? It wasn't that you really felt the building. It was just really like a sound barrier. That's how you're building tr the windows tremble when, when you hear that, right? But this was, I felt the couch was lifting me up. That was, honestly, guys, I'm like, what do I do now? I'm not taking the elevator now down to the underground garage, take my car and drive to the farm because what if there's an aftershock or something? I mean, guys, really, this is sort of live reporting from Vancouver, BC, that's on the Cascadia Fault, and that is overdue for the big one. And I don't want to have the big one when I'm downtown Vancouver. I do not want that, please. So, yeah, you're basically live here with me. I'll just upload this. I'm, I'm not doing any editing. I'll just whatever, right? So yeah, that is what I felt and it is confirmed. <laughs> yeah, if something else happens, which I hope will not, I'll keep you updated, guys. See you, hopefully. Bye-bye.